During the Yuan Dynasty, Huang Daopo, a farmer from Wunijing, fled to Hainan Island to escape the war and stayed there for nearly 30 years. She eventually returned to her hometown with advanced cotton textile technology acquired from the Li ethnic minority. Soon, the cotton textile industry flourished in Wunijing and Songjiang areas. Planting of cotton gradually spread throughout the country. Cotton largely replaced silk and linen products which were used for over 3,000 years. The inscriptions of Emperor Qianlong in Qing Dynasty on 16 cotton drawings depicted the flourishing cotton industry in China. China is a major agricultural country and is one of the largest cotton producers in the world. Cotton is not only a very important cash crop, but also plays a vital role in national development. It is the main raw material of textile, an important domestic and export commodity. About 140 million people are engaged in the production and commercialization of cotton in China. In 2006, the total cotton area in China reached 5.3 million hectares. The three major cotton producing areas are along the Yangtze River Basin, Yellow River Basin and Northwest Inland, where 95% of national cotton production is grown. More than half of the farmers' income in the cotton producing areas comes from cotton. Textile industry remains labor-intensive. In 2006, China's textile industry provided employment for nearly 20 million people, of whom 13.5 million were farmers. The production and consumption of cotton contributes significantly to China's national development. The cotton textile industry has grown rapidly due to increasing global demand for cotton products. However, despite greater demand, cotton production areas have declined in China. In the early 1990s, cotton area decreased by nearly 40% from 6.7 million hectares in the past to only 4 million hectares. Why did this happen? Did cotton growers choose other more profitable crops? To address this pest problem, agricultural scientists focused their attention on cotton fields which host a lot of beneficial and harmful insects. Is it impossible to kill cotton bollworm? Do we have to give up planting cotton because of cotton bollworm? Cotton bollworm can produce at most two to six generations per year. The larvae damage young leaves, flower buds, and green balls. Cotton balls are severely damaged, leading to decreased quality and yield. Cotton growers controlled cotton ballworms by using chemicals or by hand picking. Increased resistance of the ballworm to pesticides promoted farmers to increase application frequency and dosage, which adversely affected human health and the environment.
，就是抗中民之前呢，每一百个人里面大概有二十到二十五个人，嗯嗯，常年会中毒的。一天地里经常看到体型漂亮的蜜蜂啊，有一昆虫，现在地里几乎看不到了。As a result, farmers looked eagerly to new technology that could help them to overcome cotton bogworm without using pesticides. The Biotechnology Research Institute of the Chinese Academy of Agricultural Sciences was given this important task to address the pest problem. 九十年代初，棉林虫大爆发，棉花产量锐减，我国的相关产业也受到了很大的冲击。我每一年我们国家以棉林虫危害的损失，产量是百分之十五到三十。农药已经防治不住了，所以必须要采取新的。然后转基因的这个基因工程技术来培育新的棉花，否则我们别无选择。In 1991, Professor Guo Sandui of Biotechnology Research Institute initiated the research on bollworm-resistant cotton. The resistance gene to the cotton bollworm is from a bacteria known as Bacillus thuringiensis, or Bt. The Bt gene is introduced into the cotton plant through biotechnology to protect the plant from the attack of cotton bollworm. This plant, with bollworm resistance characteristic, is known as Bt cotton. 呃，九一年，就是在八六三计划的支持下，我们开始了 Bt 单价抗中棉的研究。到九三年，我们研制成功。双价抗中棉呢，是九四年开始项目启动。这个九五年就研制成功，三系抗中棉呢，实际是九九年开始，到了零三年研制成功。In 1993, using pollen tube pathway technology, China succeeded in developing GFM Cry 1A Bt cotton and was granted Chinese intellectual property rights. 华防管通道呢，技术呢和你比方农杆菌戒毒法啊，基因枪法啊。但在相比较起来呢，不需要仪器设备，但是农杆菌呢就需要，而且培育的时间比较长，容易就是说突变，不容易很快的拿到能够在生产上应用的东西。但是花房管通道呢就比较简便。The Bt cotton varieties produced through pollen tube pathway technology are now widely planted across China. In 1998, the first four types of Chinese transgenetic Bt cotton were approved to be planted in eight provinces in China. In 1999, Chinese Academy of Agricultural Sciences developed a new type of Bt cotton, SGK321, which is a second-generation pest-resistant cotton variety, conferred with intellectual property rights in China. SGK 三二幺呢，它是我们国家第一个研制出来的双价抗虫棉，特别是到了后期，就要开花结林的时候，抗虫性要比单价抗虫性要好。In June 1999, the variety SGK 321 passed the biosafety evaluation and was approved for commercial planting in Hebei Province in 2000. The combination of two genes prolongs the plant's resistance to cotton bollworm. The successful development of SGK321 variety motivated scientists to continually develop new varieties. 呃，单价的是我们据美国之后是第二个国家，啊，双价的我们当时是研制出来的时候，国外还没有研制出来。啊，特别是最近我们突破的，最主要三系杂交棉。The successful development of the three-line hybrid pest-resistant cotton placed China at the front line in cotton research. While research and development efforts were in progress, China simultaneously started field testing of Bt cotton. In 1996. The Chinese Academy of Agricultural Sciences started large-scale field trials of various newly developed Bt cotton. These varieties passed various biosafety tests. Ah, 转基因作物在批准商业化之前要经过四个阶段。第一个阶段
，增进试验；第二个阶段，环境释放；第三个阶段，生产性试验；第四个阶段，申请安全证书。一般来讲，通过这么四个程序，大概要六到八年时间。As the Chinese saying goes, three heads are better than one. In the early stage of BT promotion, the U.S. company. Monsanto has also been actively involved in BT cotton research in China. Monsanto has been in China for more than 20 years.、Uh, you know, we have、uh, set up two joint ventures in cotton in China. One is the Jidai in Hebei, and the other is Andai in Anhui. So our goal is to become、uh, a business partner with China, and、uh, to improve、uh, the farmers' income, improve their、uh, health being,、uh, and also protect soil and the, and the environment. Monsanto, together with other partners, established Ji Dai Seed Company in Hebei Province to be a BT seed production and marketing arm. Ji Dai Company 自己成立或者是抗种棉的推广应用，我认为的话呢，不断呢是对河北乃至全国的棉花生产产生了一次重大的影响，甚至一次是一次划时代的革命。In 1997, Monsanto's BT cotton, known as 33B, was approved by China's Biosafety Committee to be commercially planted in Hebei Province. In 1999, 33B was approved for planting in Anhui Province. In 2000, Monsanto again introduced another two new types of BT cotton varieties in Anhui Province. All approved Monsanto varieties were sold in Shandong Province. Now, our land is mainly planted in cotton. If we plant cotton, we will start to plant cotton. Compared with conventional cotton seeds, BT cotton seeds are more expensive because of its higher production cost. This initially made farmers reluctant to buy BT cotton seeds. To solve this problem, the Cotton Research Institute, under the Chinese Academy of Agricultural Sciences, enhanced its research efforts. The Cotton Research Institute eventually developed an efficient marketing system by integrating research, production, promotion, and sale of BTCs. Farmers could now afford to buy quality BTCs at reasonable price. 为了保证它的种子质量，我们这个首先，我们通过我们的公司统一经营，在价格上，我们有专门的生产线，这样呢就保证这个同志，我们从过年到中间生产到加工都是一条线。我们呢推广以后，我们长期也是一种产业化认同的方式，也就是说，合股经营，呃，就是联产联销，还股权转让等等的这些方式。As the advantage of planting BT cotton became more obvious, more farmers began to adopt these new varieties. In 1998, 10,000 hectares of BT cotton were planted in nine provinces in China. By 2006, the total BT cotton area reached 3.5 million hectares. To facilitate the promotion of BT cotton. BRI established Biocentury Transgene Corporation Limited, which was entrusted with the production and wholesale of BT cotton seed. 成立这家公司的主要原因是我们国产的这个转基因抗虫螨技术呢已经非常成熟了。为了使这项技术的话更好的与资金的话结合起来，使广大的这个棉农呃这个受益。The increased planting area and continuous cultivation of BT cotton may pose potential threats to its production. As bollworms can develop resistance to pesticides, they might also develop resistance to BT cotton. How shall China avoid this problem? In cotton cultivation, when it comes to 邻近的地方就是种植一些玉米啊、大豆啊和花生。那么通过棉铃虫在这些作物上呢，就是成活，最后呢能够达到一个这庇护所的作用。通过这种模式的，就是这种大面积的连续的，就是引入，能够延缓棉铃虫对 BT 棉花抗性的，就是这种花生。
Bt cotton helps overcome the major pest problem in cotton fields and has led to an increase in Bt cotton area. Since 1998, the total planting area of Bt cotton exceeded 17.4 million hectares, resulting in significant reduction of experimental pollution, decreased pesticide expenditure, as well as enhanced farmers' health and income. After the large-scale planting of Bt cotton, the average pesticide usage was reduced by 30 to 40 kg per hectare. As early as 1999, pesticide spraying frequency was reduced by 60% from 20 applications for conventional cotton to only 7 applications for Bt cotton. Reduction in pesticide usage has drastically minimized the pesticide poisoning among cotton farmers. Scientists are aware of the social and economic benefits and future development trends of biotech crops. Cutting 能产生巨大的经济社会和生态效益 China has many experiences on biotech crops, especially BT cotton, that developing countries can learn from. The planting of biotech crops has shown that small-scale farmers and consumers stand to reap the benefits from this new technology. The large-scale planting of Bt cotton in China is a testimony of the contribution of biotech crops in alleviating poverty in developing countries.